All right, now let me demonstrate you how you could create a new user and I will do that uh, as a root user in Ubuntu Docker container. Please notice that if you want to create new users, you need to have root access to the system. And if you are root user, you are good to go and you are able to create any other users. If you are logged in as a regular user, you need to prepend the commands that we will use here in this lecture and next lectures with sudo. And when you enter any command with sudo prefix, you will be asked for root password. And if you don't have access to root password, of course, you will not be able to perform such actions as creation of new users. Alright, you are able to create new users using two different commands, either user add or add user. And first, let's have a quick look at help for those both commands. user add dash dash help. And here you see different options that could be used along with this command. And you see that this command is used for creation of the new user. And here in place of login, you need to enter new username for the user you want to add. Let's have a look at add user command. Clear terminal, add user, dash dash help. And here is help page for add user command. And for example, with such option as dash dash home, you are able to set custom home directory for a specific new user. And here as user, you should enter any username that will be used for creation of the new user. All right, I'll show you both commands in action and let me start with user add command. Let me clear terminal and enter user add. And next, let me enter my name as username, user add Bogdan. And you see that actually nothing happened, I saw no prompts and it seems that new user was created. Let me now try to log in as Bogdan user. And you are able to log in as other user if you are already logged in as for example root user. And for that you could use command su, this one. And next you could type simply username you want to log in with, su Bogdan. And notice that I was logged into other shell. And actually now you see ch shell. As root user I was logged in into the bash shell. And from that bash shell I was logged into ch shell for Bogdan user. And if I enter here who am I? I see Bogdan. And that means that now I am logged in as Bogdan user. But let's have a look at the contents of the folder I am currently in. LS. And here I see error permission denied. If I enter pwd, I see that I am still in the slash root folder. But you could remember that this folder is actually home directory for root user. And this folder has read, write and execute permissions only for root user. And if I enter ls-la and here type slash, you'll see this information here on this line. Root folder can be accessed only by root user. That's why if I try to access it here as Bogdan user, I'll get permission error. And that's fully correct. All right, that's how I was able to log into the ch shell using different user. But let's try to list contents of the home directory. I have told you that uh, each user should have home directory. Let's enter ls slash home. And here I see actually no other subfolders. And that means that no home directory was created for this new user Bogdan. And if you want to create new home directory, you need to perform additional action. Also, this user does not have any password set. And if you will try to access this computer remotely and log in as Bogdan user, you will not be able to do so because there is no password for this user. Now let's go back to root user. And if you want to exit from current session for Bogdan user, you need to enter simply exit. And now I am back to bash shell for root user. All right, next command that you need to use if you want to set up a password for specific user is passwd. And next comes username Bogdan. And here I could set a new password for a specific user. Let me set something random 123. Here I'll retype 123. And password was updated successfully. 
and now I will be able to log in as a regular Bogdan user using this password that I have just configured. Let's now again try to log in as Bogdan user by typing SU Bogdan and you see that I was not asked for any password. And the reason for that is that I'm already logged into the system as root user and that's why there is no need to ask for a password for other user. Alright, that's how we were able to set password for a specific new user. But there is still no home directory for this user. Let me show you how you could create a new user with home directory. And first let's simply remove this user that we have just created. And for that use following command user del and next comes username. User was removed. And now let's create the same user back again but with another option that will automatically create a new home directory for this user. Let's type user add dash dash help and let's uh, look for option that will create the home directory. And actually I'm able to filter this output using pipe operator and here will be grab command. We have already discussed this command before and here type home like so. And you see that with dash D option you are able to set specific home directory. Or you are able to use dash M option that will create home directory automatically in the slash home directory. Let's use dash M option. Let's clear terminal, user add dash M and next comes username, Bogdan again. And now let's list contents of the home folder. And now you see new subfolder that was created here automatically. And name matches username for this user that we have just created. Let's list contents of this Bogdan folder and let's add here options dash la in order to see hidden files and see results in table format. And now I see that there are three hidden files bash logout, bash rc and profile. And those files were created automatically for this particular user. But now question. How Linux system decides which shell specific user should use by default? Let me show you. ls etc default user add. There is such file located in etc default directory. Let's have a look actually at this file using cut command and you'll see set of default options that are used for creation of the new user when you enter user add command. And if you scroll up a bit, you'll see such variable that is set to bin ch. And that actually indicates default shell that will be used for new users that you create using user add command. And you are able actually adjust this default configuration file, you are able to uncomment some sections, you are able to add additional parameters, you are able to modify existing parameters and so on. And let's actually try to modify this file and adjust shell to bin bash. And afterwards let's try to create new user. But first let's log in as Bogdan user and ensure that we will be logged in into the ch shell. Let's clear terminal and enter su. Bogdan and you see here that I'm logged in into the ch shell as Bogdan user. And we are able to verify which shell we are currently using by entering command echo dollar sign zero. And here I see ch. Alright, let's now try to create new user under this session. Let's try to enter user add and for example let's create new user called test. And here I see error permission denied. And the reason for that is that I am trying to create new user from a regular user session. And I have told you before that if you want to create new users, you need to have root privileges. And if you try to do so as a regular user, you'll get definitely an error. Alright, let's exit from this session and now let's modify configuration file for user add command. Let's use nano editor, nano. Here type a path to this configuration file. It is located in etc. I'll use absolute path. Next default and here will be user add like this. And let's modify this line. Shell will be bin bash like so. Let's save changes. Control X. Yes. 
enter and uh, let's read the contents of this file in order to verify that changes were saved and let's scroll up here and yes here is this change shell is set to bin bash all right, let's now create one more user and again I'll use option dash M that will automatically create new home directory for this new user and uh, afterwards we will try to log in as new user. Let's enter user add, next comes dash M option and afterwards let's enter username test. We will create new user with username test. Let's press enter and now let's use SU test and now you see that I'm inside of the bash shell. Let's type echo dollar sign zero and you see bash. And notice that if you use su command without any other options, then current working directory will remain unchanged. Notice that here I was inside of the home directory for root user, it is slash root. And when I have changed user, I still remain in this folder slash root. And if you don't want such behavior, you need to use additional option with su command. Let me show you that. Let's exit from here and type su dash dash help. And here you'll see this option on this line. You could either use simply dash or dash l or dash dash login. And with this option, you will be logged into new session completely from scratch as new user. Let me show you that. su dash and here type username test. And you'll see that I have changed user to test and now I'm inside of the home directory for this test user. And if I enter pwd, you'll see path to home directory for test user. It is slash home slash test. Same applies to other users. For example, let's exit from here and su dash and here type Bogdan username and now I'm actually in the CH shell, but if I enter PWD, you'll see same picture. I'm inside of the home directory for this particular user. That's what this option dash or dash L does. All right, that's how you could create new users using user add command. And with such option as dash M, you are able to automatically create new home directory for specific user. Great, let's exit from here and let's use user del command in order to remove Bogdan user. And let's verify whether home directory for this user is still in place or not. Let's list files in home directory and yes, I still see here Bogdan subfolder. And that means that user del command without any additional options does not remove home directory for specific user. Let's have a look at the help options for user del command, user del dash dash help. And here in list of those options, you'll see option dash r that will automatically remove home directory for specific user. Let's use this option in order to remove test user. Let's enter user del dash r test. You see warning that the test mail spool wasn't found, just ignore it. Let's list the contents of the home directory now and I don't see test subfolder here in this home folder. Let's also remove manually this subfolder. Let's use rm-r slash home slash Bogdan. Enter. Let's list contents of the home directory and now it is empty. All right, that's how you could create new users using user add command. With another command, passwd, you are able to set password or modify it if it is already set for a particular user. And using user del command, you are able to remove created user. Let's now proceed and next let me show you another command, add user. It is slightly different from user add command, but just with single command, you are able to set home directory, password and other options if you want to do so. Let's talk about it in the next lecture. Bye-bye.